Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about snow site and in the subsequent three videos, I am going to discuss a little more about snow site. What exactly snow site is? Why do we use snow site? Right. So this is the first question that comes into our mind when we start using Snowflake. We we will hear this word very often, snow site, right? And even if you would have seen the UI as well, and there also you might have come across this word snow site. And today we will be seeing what exactly it is. So when we talk about snow site, what exactly it is? It is nothing but a UI, right? With few extra features. If I try to make it in a very simple you know one liner statement it is a ui it is a snowflake web interface it is a snowflake ui or it is a snowflake sql interface you might also call it as snowflake sql interface with dashboarding and chart support right so this is a very short you know statement about snow site and this is all snow site is about right it is just a uh, you know a snowflake web interface which has a you know very powerful sql support or you can say you know it is very it is basically uh, it also has uh, you know the support for your dashboarding and the charting purpose so basically this interactive sql editor which has support for your you know charting for your dashboarding right it helps you to increase productivity it helps you in collaboration it helps you in visualization Right, we will actually go on to the portal and see snow site and how we can log into snow site as well. Right, so whatever you can do in your normal snowflake, all the things you can do in snow site as well. You can build and run queries, you can load the data into tables, you can monitor the performance of query. You know, uh, you know, you can see your history of the queries, you can manage the users, you can see the account, you know, multiple accounts that you might have, you can also see you know and uh, you know you can also deal with your virtual warehouses you can work on your databases you can also share the data as well here right now similarly you can also explore snowflake marketplace as well all these things we will be doing and we have been doing as well in our previous videos but remember that snow site comes with the extra feature and the main feature over here out of all the features is the dashboarding right snow site comes with the dashboarding right feature of dashboards features of creating dashboards free uh, feature of sharing dashboards feature of you know deleting dashboards and the second most important feature is the functions and the procedures so these are the functions which are not available in the normal snowflake old legacy ui but it is available in the snow site these are the main features right which one first is the dashboarding second is the functions and procedure rest all are like you know they're not that important you know and we will see it like for example importing worksheets right we know like if you have been watching my previous videos you already know what a worksheet is right so in snow site what you can do is you can import the worksheet from your previous legacy system so of course when you have a new feature there will be an import feature as well right similarly you can go and see your worksheet history you can create duplicate worksheets you can add folders and inside folders you can add worksheets right and you can manage filters we will discuss all of these you know in detail i just wanted to give you a little background over here so snow site is what it is an interactive sql interface remember that it is nothing but it is an interactive sql interface with dashboarding right so now it is same as your previous legacy ui just that it has you know dashboards concepts of dashboards concepts of functions and procedures added on top of it so now let's move on to the portal and exactly see right how do we how can we log in to snow site right now if you see i am in my normal you know login page of snowflake let me just log in and come back to, uh, come back to the video so now guys i have you know put in my username and password now let me just click on the sign in option over here so the moment i click on sign in i am actually i am actually signed in to uh, you know the snow site what you see on the screen the UI that you see on the screen is nothing but snow site nothing else right so if you see on the left hand side all these options right 
you know worksheet dashboards data marketplace activity admin help and support all these are present in our classic console as well so if i go and i click on this classic console let's see where does it take to take us to so if you see it is again asking me to log in now where do where i am supposed to log in i'm actually supposed to log into my classic ui means the legacy ui which i have discussed in my previous videos as well so let me just again put the password and come back so guys i have put in my password let me just sign in and you will actually see the legacy ui right this is the same ui and in fact even in the legacy ui what you see over here you can actually see that it says go to snow site right again if you click on this go to snow site you will again log uh, land into a login page where you will log in and you will come to this page which is nothing but the snow site ui and this particular page is nothing but this is your uh, you know uh, the legacy ui which we have been talking we have you know done a lot of stuff here as well so if you see it also has this worksheets option you know let me just click remind later over here now if you see i can add on worksheets over here i can click you know i can create databases we i we, i have actually shown you the whole walkthrough of this right i have actually shown you so you can select the warehouse database schema everything is here now in the similar way you can create worksheets over here right you can manage your data if i click on this data option you will actually see it is same as the previous ui right it has your databases and everything right similarly it has marketplace it has activity admin console same thing which you have over there right you can go ahead create a database just that the ui is different and the second thing that is added over here is this dashboards part right if you can see you have a dashboard created over here so you can actually create the dashboards all those dashboards will actually appear in this section if someone has shared any dashboards with you those will come in this shared with me part similarly if you have you know any dashboards which you have created they can come over here similarly if you want to create a dashboard like multiple things right you can do it over here we will discuss this in detail as well so if i click on this test 01 right which is a dashboard created by me earlier uh you know it doesn't make any sense you know the how charts are placed but it is just for the demo purpose so if you see this is how your dashboards are also available in this particular you know ui which is snow side if you want to share it you can go ahead and share it as well right so if you want to run it again you know if you want to run you know run it essentially means that you you if you want to rerun the queries associated to these particular charts you can go ahead and you can simply run it as well right so these are small things uh you know related to your snow site and the ui part of it so if you can see it has just updated so although there was no data to be updated but i just kind of showed you over here so if i go back to the home page so this is how your snow site uh page looks like and if you go over here right it it, it actually shows you you know your account right and similarly also remember that the u uh, the url right the url of snow site is different from your legacy one so if you see this is my legacy url right so this is my legacy url central india azure dot azure dot snowflake cloud computing dot com internal worksheet right so first i have my id over here but if you see here it is app dot snowflake dot com right so this is how your uh, snowflake you are uh, snow, snowflake snow site is in case you want to deal with your data part you can simply click in this data part you can actually see you can go to your my database or any database that you have created you can simply go inside it you can actually see it, you have these tables views stages we have worked on stages as well pipes streams we are going to discuss all of these don't don't worry even if you feel okay this uh, pipes or streams have not been discussed in the upcoming videos i'll discuss that similarly you have functions procedures now it is little different from our legacy ui so if you see over here right you go to the database inside database you go ahead you know you choose a database now inside that particular database you can go ahead create a table right then you have your views schema stages file format sequences pipes right but here it is little different ui wise so you can go ahead and see all the you know details from within the database itself you can choose any kind of role so right now i am in account admin role you can choose any of these roles right account admin org admin public security admin system admin user admin so if i select let's say 
or getment right so all the details so for example or getment only this particular database has access to uh, like or admin has access only to this particular database right so that is why only this particular database is visible now so only the things related to org admin will be accessible from here because i have chosen the role over here so if i want to switch the role i can directly go ahead and switch the role to account admin again right if you want to create a database you can go ahead create a database over here right so and similarly if you uh, you know want to work on the worksheets parts i just cl clicked on the worksheets on the left hand side you can actually see all these worksheets are present over here right so let me just click on the random worksheet that i created let me just click on that worksheet so this is how worksheets will look like over here we are going to discuss in detail about the worksheets in our upcoming videos so let me go back i just wanted to show you how worksheets looks like over here now also uh, you can see there is an option of shared with me so any worksheet that is shared with you right you can actually see that over here similarly the folders option is there so you can actually see uh, you know uh, you can create a folder so for example this test 01 is created right you can click on these three dots you can you know click on this new folder and you can create a folder over here so if you can see this test 01 folder is created and inside test 01 you can click on this plus symbol of the worksheet and you can add as many worksheets as you want right over in the folder so within a folder you cannot create another folder so for example if i have this test 01 folder i do not have any option to create another folder inside a folder but you can add worksheets inside a folder right it helps you in organizing your things now similarly if i go inside this test 01 right if i want to share my worksheet right if i want to share my worksheet i can simply click on the share option and i can you know just simply share my worksheet or i can get a link to my worksheet and you know i can simply share it so these are the things that you can actually very easily do with your worksheets right now in case you know you have shifted from your you want to shift from your previous version of snowflake to this new version and you want to import worksheets you can simply click on this import worksheets option right so uh, for example i have 19 worksheets from my classic console right if i want to import anything from my classic uh, console i can actually import it using this option right and it, it is actually even telling me that would you like to import 19 worksheets from classic console this will create a new timestamp folder with imported worksheet inside right so you can actually do this thing as well so this is called your worksheet import right which option which is a new option which is of course not present in the uh, legacy one similarly there's an option of manage filters so we are going to discuss in detail about this manage filter it is a little broader topic so we are going to discuss about this manage filters as well so these filters are nothing but you can think them think uh, of them like where clauses in a sql query so you can uh, use these manage filters similarly you uh, we will discuss no worries on this part similarly you have something called as create worksheets from sql file so if you have a sql file and you want to create a worksheet from it you can you are good to go you can simply select your sql file and you can add it in the worksheet so that is also a very option a very good option so if you click on this marketplace right so there are in from the marketplace you can actually select on to you know any uh, provider that you might want to connect to so all these are the providers if you want to connect to this particular marketplace you can go ahead and connect to it as well right similarly you have your activity tab now in this activity tab as well it will define the history so what all queries did i run right each and everything which warehouse i used what is the query id what is the duration when did it start so all the details related to your queries you can actually uh, you know uh, quite comfortably you can see the query history you can also do a you know do filters on top of it if you want to do any kind of filters for your query history right you can if you want to you know understand you know what all queries were run and all you can do that from here similarly copy history if you did any kind of copy right so that history you can take check it check from here task history similarly task history is also there so we will uh, you know go through all of these things in detail similarly admin console is also there right in this admin console you can actually go ahead check your usage what are the warehouses how many clusters are running how many are queued 
so all these things you know any resource monitoring if you want to do you can do that users and the role setting you know who are the users what kind of uh, you know uh, roles are assigned so all these things you can actually go ahead and see from users and roles similarly if you want to enable multi-factor authentication right you can enable this multi-factor authentication i think i've talked about this earlier as well so security billing uh, you know if you want to add a network policy which of course your uh, organization will have that comes over here now your billing details everything you know that can come over here partner connect if you want to go and you know use any any partner connect then in that case it is same as your you know kind of marketplace uh, marketplace only then you can go ahead and do partner connecting as well similarly uh, you know uh, if you want to just work on the classic console you have an option to work on classic console as well and also remember that from classic console also what you can do is there is an option of snow site if you see on the right hand side right if you hover over this option you will see that it says start using the new interface we have added new features not available in the classic version including full account search sql auto complete chart visualization usage dashboard and more right so this is also uh, you know you can actually log in from here as well so if i click on the snow site uh, uh, over here then you can actually see that i am again i again go to the snow site page right so this is all about snow site in short i have given you a very good uh, you know understanding about snow site and i have shown you how does it look like so in the upcoming videos we will see uh, you know how can we work in the snowflake how can we work with the worksheets in the snowflake and what are the different features which we can leverage using the snow site as well and remember uh, that snow remember one more thing that the snow site has many features for example this dashboarding your functions procedures which even your uh, you know uh, snowflake cli also doesn't have right so it is very useful and most probably you should be working on this so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel